Okay, in this segment we're going to talk about how to create an alignment from some existing geometry. And in this case I already have a polyline drawn with a little series of arcs and lines in it. And uh, once I've got that, remember it has to be uh, a joining, uh, or it should be anyway. Uh, it's not going to stop you from creating alignment, but uh, it's probably good practice. On my Home tab on my rivet, I'm going to go to the Alignment section. And I've got an option here that says Create Alignment from Objects. So it could be lines, arcs polylines with a series of objects in it. I select it, I pick my geometry on my screen and hit enter. It asks me do you want your alignment to run in this direction. Uh, that means that the stationing is going to start at zero here and it's going to end on the other end. So uh, if you are not happy with that you can hit the reverse section or the reverse button down here on the command line and that will reverse the direction. And uh, once you've decided on the direction, you can go ahead, uh, an automatic dialog box will pop up and you can give it uh, a name if you like. You can specify a certain type, so in this case it's going to be a center line. Uh, I'll talk about these other options later, but uh, most of the time you'll probably be using center line alignments. Give it a description if you like. Uh, you can choose to put it in a site if you like. If you choose to put it in a site, it'll group it over in this section here under sites and under alignments, and it'll create a little folder under center line alignments under your site. So uh, if you say none, then it'll put it under the main alignment section under center line alignments. Okay, I'm just going to keep it in the main section. Uh, there's a number of different alignment styles which will show how the uh, road is going to look. In this case, I'll leave it at proposed. I am, can specify some predefined label sets. I'll talk about those a little later as well. I do not want to add any curves between my tangents because I already have some. If you didn't draw them in and they're going to be pretty uh, standard curves, if it's a fairly long alignment, then this is a quick way to do it. But in my case, I don't want it. Uh, I'm going to erase, erase the existing entities. It's going to get rid of that polyline and create a brand new alignment for me. I say OK. And uh, voila, there's my alignment. And um, notice that uh, by holding my cursor over, it gives me some information about that alignment. I can select that alignment and uh, go into have some uh, different options for changing styles and, and uh, some of the geometry as well. But I'll talk about that in the next segment, uh, which is editing alignments. All right, thanks for watching.